Alright guys, what's going on? Um, I had work this morning and then there's some like Honda Fest drift event at Thompson Speedway. So I went up there after work. I'll put some clips of that right now. airflow sensor so for the 240 so we're gonna try that and see if that does anything all right what's going on guys um, the other day the new steering hub came in because I'm pretty sure the one they had in the car was from Orion's Miata but that's already in I put that in the other day but we're just gonna unbox a eBay mass airflow sensor now It is another Z32 mass airflow sensor, so it should just plug right in. Alright, so I can already feel this is mad cheesy. Like, the plastic is just so cheesy, but it, it'll probably do the job. Scratch that last thing, we're just going to pull the 240 into the garage and see what we can do. There is an engine light for the mass airflow sensor, like the Z32 mass airflow sensor. I'm not sure if that's from it not being stock or what, but well, we have the new one, we'll try it. If it doesn't work, it was only like 30 bucks, so I'm not complaining. Alright guys, so the other day when I put the steering wheel on, it's clearly not straight. So I'm going to straighten that out and then I'm going to uh, tighten down the bolts. And then I'll put the new mass airflow sensor in. Alright, so that bolt, that nut is like completely stripped out on the inside it's like 
smooth as this. So all it's doing right now is holding it on so it doesn't come flying off, but like I could take this off right now with my hand. So if anyone knows the thread pattern on this nut, please let me know. Because right now that is not like safe at all. Alright, so we're gonna throw that new mass airflow sensor in now because the stereo is kinda porked right now. Let's see what we can do. Alright, so I just got the old mass airflow sensor out. I'm gonna take this silver like adapter piece for a filter. I'm gonna take that off and then I'll slap it on this. And then take the rubber like adapter and put it on that and I guess we'll see how this goes this one's like I feel like this is an actual Z32 math so we'll see how this goes alright so I I got that adapter off and this one's looking like it's a little charred right there if you can't see it I'm not too sure what's that what that's from but this one's like this one's definitely from a Z32 because it has like this mesh stuff on that side and this side and then this eBay one only has it on this side which is open on that side good thing this side connects to the turbo and this is the air filter so I'm just gonna slap this adapter back on, put this on, and then we'll put it in the car and we'll see if it idles better or starts by itself without any starter fluid. Alright guys, so we got the mass airflow sensor connected to the air filter and this little like boot. And we're just gonna throw it back in and we'll start it after that and see if it starts and idles. I hope it does because really becoming a headache fucking 240s all right guys so first start right here we'll see if she starts There it is. She's idling by itself. It's a little rough, but it's idling all by itself. Pretty hyped on that. So, we might take it for a little rip after we get the nut for this, but if we do, we'll show you guys. Alright guys, what's going on? We just got the 240 to idle all by itself. It was a mass airflow sensor, but she's bit now. Maybe we'll go take it for a rip tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Idling by itself, nothing's going on. It's a little rough right now, we're going to have to probably play with the distributor a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. 